you know, the, the thing about this is I really respect CM Punk for understanding his value and using his leverage to get the things that he wants. That's the history of pro wrestling, right? Every top guy from Hogan, you know, the, the whole key is to have enough value to where the company needs you. And thus you, you keep your character strong and it's not the company necessarily who dictates where the character's going. You know, Vince McMahon, you know, he, he historically has been like, okay, this person is the person until they're not the person. And then we, you know, no hard feelings. This is the business. Then, then we leave them be punk stayed away. He, his value increased just by staying away. And, you know, he became the, the big star of AEW. Now, the, I have respect for that. Uh, there are other things that you can have issues with, including the, the all-out brawl and, and everything that we've talked about ad nauseum. But the, the, he's got this show that is really sort of designed for him, this collision show on Saturday, which we're kind of excited for because we want to yeah. see what the vision is for that show. And he has been... You know, probably for Tony Khan, a little bit of a headache uh, as far as trying to get this show off the ground. Dave and Brian covered it all yesterday uh, on Wrestling Observer Radio, so I'm not going to go over that. My my thumbs down is for the behavior of the athlete and the relationship between athlete and journalist or athlete and reporter or athlete and podcaster because the relationship between media and, and athletes has been uh, the thing that kind of keeps the wheel of professional sports going from the beginning. And this is not to say that people should not be frustrated with media. P people don't have to like media. People don't have to believe that their coverage is always fair. Like there is always a possibility, especially with these wrestling blogs and these news sites where it's really all about getting clicks. There's a lot of bad content out there. So if you are a wrestler who believes you're being mistreated in bad faith, you can call that stuff out a hundred percent for sure. And I have complete respect for that. But in this situation where you have one of the biggest stars in all of professional wrestling, you kind of want the big stars of professional wrestling to be the face of professional wrestling and to do so in a, in a classy way. Because, you know, one thing about professional wrestling is that it's always under the radar because people do not respect it. People think everybody's a carny. People think everybody is just this fake performer. And that is 100% not the case. You look at somebody like Roman Reigns, who he's like, everybody has respect for that dude. Like he is the top guy in that company for a reason. You look at somebody like John Moxley. People have so much respect for John Moxley from admitting his his issues and coming back from his issues and all of those things. I'm only pointing those two guys out just as you know, two two people who who I look at and go, okay, those guys deserve the the respect that they get. The way CM Punk handled whatever this situation is with Brian Alvarez was embarrassing embarrassing i was sitting there and i was watching the the little photos of his instagram stories come in and i was just thinking like this dude is my age and he's using instagram like i would tell my uh 13 year old twin stepsons to not use instagram for fear of looking like a fool <laughs> and he is calling out Brian Alvarez. He's, you know, taking screenshots of old emails that without context, hmm. he's getting people riled up about, you know, keep my name out of your mouth. And it's like, you know, why does everyone talk about me? It's like the reason why you have the leverage with Tony Khan is because your fans care and the liaison between you and your fans is the media, is the podcasters, is the wrestling show. Do you have to enjoy or like or be buddies with Brian Alvarez, Dave Meltzer, Sean Ross Sapp, Mike Johnson, 
Nick, I see Nick Hausman doing doing some stuff now. Like he's getting more out there. No, you don't. But if you have a problem with the coverage, then you take care of that stuff behind the scenes. Hey, here's what you got wrong, and here's what you got right. If if Brian is doing something in bad faith and you call him out on it behind the scenes and he continues to do that, then maybe going public is is one way to handle. Uh, some uh, some NBA players will, will do stuff like that. They'll make a general claim about about the media. But I just look at this guy as the ultimate hypocrite in this moment, which should be a celebration for him as a wrestler, as a uh, a creator, as somebody whose name still means something. This is this could be like CM Punk's last ride here. And the way that he's handling this stuff in social media like a child, I am so embarrassed because I'm just like, this is one of the guys who uh, we should say he's one of the best guys today. And instead, what he's doing is he's like Donald Trumping the whole situation by creating this divide that you were just talking about, which is, oh, you know, these guys are they're, they're just lying. And it's like, come on, dude, like, who am I going to believe the side of a story? Dave and Brian and Sean. Mike Johnson or you like, come on. Like, like there are some dumb people who are going to believe things that these, these guys post just because of who they are. But let, let's, you know, let's stop playing these childish games. If Brian is wrong, reach out to him and deal with it in private because he will admit that he was wrong. If he was, the problem is, is I don't think he's wrong, which is why CM Punk is trying to, use him in this you know thing to create his own pr and create hype for this show and then now he you know he he's frustrated because of all these different things so that part of it that's tony khan's business that's tony khan's problem but this media this dealing with media and and making me feel like an idiot for following it because it's so stupid like we need to get over that and we need to kind of you know he needs to he needs to grow up a little bit so that is my that is my whole take on the situation. Um, I probably will not talk about it anymore, but I had to get that off my chest because I was just appalled at, at the behavior. No, All no. right, John, well, first, <laughs> you could follow that. Now. Well, no, it won't be that long. Um, I, I, did I miss something? Was it was it regarding the Ace Deal situation? I think so. Okay. So okay. So supposedly. A still was back, or maybe not back, or was going to come back for collision. But then Punk, this is what I understand. Punk was upset that A still is him back. Backstage. Yeah. He will be his back, his but it will be backstage. only remotely back, right? Or something like that. He he wants his brother Brudeye to be with mm -hmm. him. And I think the agreement was possibly that brother Brudeye would be a consultant. Mm -hmm. but because of what had happened, maybe not be allowed backstage with all of the talent. I don't know. The, I, I don't know exactly that. That's the gist of it. The other part of this is that some will find frustrating is, you know, there, there were these upfronts yesterday and they were promoting this show mm -hmm. and they had oh, yeah, to pull yeah. Punk's name off of all, all of the, the press materials for what we believe may, may be this reason. It could be other reasons. Like this is kind of the way that he's been doing things which is to uh, you know pull 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 the old uh, Lucy pulling the football and Tony Khan's uh, Charlie Brown trying to kick it. You know that's kind of uh, been been the way that it's been handled so far. So, uh, but what we don't know is obviously we don't know Punk and Tony Khan and Ace Steel's original agreement. So we don't know if like maybe everyone thought, or at least Ace Steel Punk camp thought he was back, but what? But then. That's probably why they're upset. Maybe, you know, maybe it wasn't clear. It should have been put as clear from the start. I would think, you know, everything that was in his con, I mean, what's in his contract, you know, too, that he yeah. still has, or maybe who knows? I mean, I mean, uh, it, it would seem that the way to handle it would be like, okay, we'll figure it out. Let's push through. This is a big moment for the company. Mm -hmm. Get this new TV show. I'm a part of it. We'll, 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 we'll figure out the details 
later if they're not yeah. clear. Yeah. Not, you know, not the way that, that it was handled, from what I understand, at least as far as I understand. 